Shotgun is uh, everything. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this goes. Tiger is coming from losers, so he will have He's to He's coming win. from losing against Kit, too. Yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting set because we're going to have to see you know, who adapts. It's either going to be a double upset on paper. These guys do go even, but Tiger is rated higher in the state. So it's either going to yeah. be upset on paper or a revenge set for, for Tiger since he's coming back from losing. That's probably going to be it. Yeah, yep, that's it. Very, very nice Tiger combo off the top of the band. Well, he did look happy now. <laughs> Getting that witch time. He I wanted like the there nair up smash there. Yep, catching there the it dodge. is. Five minutes exactly, resetting it to 0-0, zero, zero, last stock, just back to square one. Ooh. Some started here. Nice combo. Wow. Unfortunately, wow. Bats getting him out. But that was like a that was a 50% combo after the Bats. Yeah. Almost. It's a punish. Tiger looking like a different man this time around. He's turning this around quick. Only take one percent from bullet arts. Does that even count? Like if he, like if he wins right here, it's still JV2. I don't, I don't think bullet arts do count. Count. I, count. I think count. it's like fox lasers. Yeah, fox that lasers will. Don't count. That counts. <laughs> Dang. Ooh, and he's gonna look for the air dodge. Yeah, Kev not giving it to him. That was a very good escape option from Kip. Yeah, Once Bayonetta's at ledge, she has so many options. Yeah, she can't, you, you can't edge guard. It's just not really possible. And that was good reaction by Kip. Reaction oh, was that it? That's it, it yeah. Wow. Connor not happy. Off the top at like 50% too. That's the, that's the thing is like Kip got, I think Kip got the, uh, like the first hit witch twist. Took and it was on a platform. Yeah. That's just a recipe for a death early. And he followed through with it really well. Kip known for his very strong and consistent combo game. So if he gets you in a situation like that, you're probably dead. Three, two, like game two, running it go. right back. So Kip's up 1-0, and even if Tiger comes back with three wins, he has to play again. So Kip's in a very good position here with the game up. There it is, we see this combo again, only netting 37 this time, didn't get the last hit of Dare. Goes for the forward air. This might be a kill here. Nice, SDI. Yeah, Tiger getting out of that really, really efficiently. Saving his stock there. Down. Oh, oh very he good wanted tech, the, He though. wanted the tech in place, but that was like really well. Yeah, Kip really responded well to that kill. exactly how Taking he did away. Too. Pretty sure that covers no tech and tech in. I mean, uh, and tech in place. So. Dub smash? Yeah, I think it does too. I think they have about the same time. He was looking for the witch time there. Both these characters very potent back airs. Just potent kill options in general and confirms into something that will lead into a kill. <laughs> Fox we back just said, yeah, gross. we just said back air. It's gross. Just about these putting back airs in there. <laughs> wow. There we have well, one at least he didn't die to it. Then. Right. The commentator's curse. Or blessing. However you want to see it. Ooh. Kip, I think expecting him to go a bit more above him. It's that grab. Tomahawk throws him off stage. Tiger may be in losers, but he's not making it look like he has any disadvantage at all. It's true. Really pushing his advantage here, but we saw what happened last time. Yeah. Unfortunately. But he did have a lead all game. He just got hit by Bayonetta at the wrong place at the wrong time, and that's, well, that's, that's how it goes. You know, I can't really look. Hey, that's his dead for sure. Oh, wow. I think okay. it was a weak hit of back air. No, he's yeah. like really, really long. Fantastic tech. tech. I mean, that's... That's part of being a Foxman, right? Is it? You gotta have those techs on point. Oh yeah. Doesn't go for the up smash read. Normally Tiger would have. And with this amount of rage, it easily would have killed him. That's it. There it is. Tipper jab two to up smash. Yep. Tiger not taking a stock, but taking 185%, almost two stocks worth against the bayonetta too. That's, that's, that's a crazy. long time. That's not gonna sit well with Kip. Gonna be one one now. 
Yeah, honestly, I think if anybody here trying to run something back from losers in Grand Finals, winning those, all six of those games without losing them, I, I think Tiger's one of the best people to do that here. Definitely. But Kip bringing out, the, bringing out the Sheik, which we saw did get the best of Connor last time. Yeah, well, if Tiger wants Sheik experience, he's going to get it here. He's played multiple today. Yeah, for sure. He had to struggle with that matchup earlier against Z. <laughs> Pulling out the curve. Even. He might do it again here, too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, if, if Kip wins this game, there's a very good chance we'll see the Kirby. Ooh, no, no up smash there. Yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't up smash. He yeah, wanted he wanted up smash for sure. Jab, jab. No, not going to get it. Ledge Tromp. Oh, I like Bouncing the bounce fish saving him there. Yeah, because if he re-grabbed Tiger, would have hit the down smash faster than he could have responded with the get up option. For sure, for so. sure. Kip recognizing yeah, that and getting out of the situation. Okay. Ooh, doesn't quite get the hit. Getting that laser in there just for good measure. He probably doesn't really need it against Sheik, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's like, you know, you're just being optimal. Right, right. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that, but... Just about anything Fox has right now will probably kill Sheik. Mm. Narrowly avoiding that. That might have killed him. It would have probably killed him. Back air just eviscerating Sheik. Taking that, that really quick. Tiger looking like a new man here. Doing much better against the Sheik than he is. He's, he's definitely picking up the Sheik. Whoa. Getting a lot of damage with those jabs. Ooh, that was Almost really risky. That. Yeah, that was super risky, but... It's a little late on that. I think up air would have just been better. But very plausible. And it's looking like he's almost evening out the sense in this stock, too. It's gonna be... Oh, back air. He's dead. Ah, it doesn't matter. That drag down just killed suicide. both of them. Yeah. yeah. It's better than risking him getting a footstool on you. And then him getting back and you've lost the stock now. That's actually a good point, yeah. Because if she had gotten the footstool, it would have it would have still been an advantageous spot for Tiger regardless because he still would have had less percent on yeah. the same stock. But if it's gonna kill, he might as well go for it. Of course. Kept going back to Bayo. So I, I like how Tiger has in this tournament shifted from counterpicking against Sheik and playing the counterpick games to just beating Sheik. Yeah. I mean I mean, Tiger is on the verge of resetting this bracket now, but he has to face the monster that we all know and love as Bayonetta on Lilat. Bayonetta on Lilat. I'm not really sure. Oh, wait. You know what? I can't really think of what... Uh... Oh, he banned Battlefield. That's right. He for sure banned Battlefield. So Tiger is of the opinion that this is the worst stage in the matchup. Is that Battlefield is uh, his worst stage in the banning matchup. So he'll let her go to Lila, despite the fact that she can hold him. He could have banned Smashville, anticipating the Sheik to come back, which would also have resulted in the Lila pick. So either either way, if I was Tiger with the Sheik problem, I'd be more worried about Sheik getting Smashville. Yeah, maybe. But he could have known Kip would have swapped. He could know Kip's character pick tendencies a little bit better. Ooh, ooh, I like that recovery. That was extremely good magnet hands there. He, he avoided the back air, which would have put him in a really bad tech situation, and still snapped the ledge and got some damage off. That was just completely, completely really good angle. Right. Oh. That back air's going to seal it up, though. He's mad. I would be mad. I would be mad. Lila actually killed him. Upset one. Oh, going for that up smash, almost killing him. What's up? How's it going? We've got Narwhal hopping on the mic with me in the middle of Grand Finals. Oh yeah, this is how we do it. <laughs> you have, you're, you're listening to the fifth place player of Auburn Altercation. <laughs> Out of 15. Oh yeah, let's go. Top 33 percentile. <laughs> but anyway, we are, yeah, it looks like, it looks like getting, Tiger's getting wrecked. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, that was man, sick. that was that was a tough situation to be in right there. First tech he got, and I don't think he expected Bayo to snap back that fast with another tech situation there, and was just trying to recover. It was it was definitely a good play by Kip, and Absolutely. that good play is taking it to a game five. Yep. Now, if Kip.
Kip wins this, the tournament's over. Yeah, this is this is Tiger tournament game. Unless he wins. Then of he course. gets a whole nother set. Oh wow, but and a whole nother best of five. <laughs> yep. So uh Tiger's probably a little nervous right now. I really don't think he wants to lose to Kip. Um, well, of course they kind of have a <laughs> at least a soft rivalry uh -oh. going uh -oh. on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He lit that. I'm yeah. very surprised. Well, good stuff to Tiger for not dying to that garbage. But also good stuff to Kip for getting a solid lead at 47% and climb. Yeah, Kip's putting on the pressure here. He's turning it up. I don't think Kip wants to play another three to five games. Mm -hmm. He definitely doesn't. Kip and wants to steal this out win and get his money. I don't blame him. Just dancing around in neutral right now. <laughs> Got I'm surprised Tiger ABK. dropped shield on that, that Witch Twist. He's usually really good at responding to it. Might be a getting a little bit nervous or just expecting a completely different option and dropping shield preemptively, but... Oh, no. That's a very unfortunate SD. I think he might be getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, he's but, a... I but think you know, I don't, I, it's a lot of pressure. I think a better way to phrase it would be a little tilted. Honestly, yeah, either <laughs> way. You know he's looking for the... Uh, that. <laughs> That'll take it. So it's already even. SD'd and it's even. So he's not sitting in a bad place at all right now. So right now, Kip needs to make sure he doesn't lose the momentum because he definitely has it right now. He does. He does. I think he's got Tiger in the mental place he wants to be in, so he just really needs to maintain. In the physical place. <laughs> oh. Let's press that back here connector. Oh, wow. No, no, no follow-up after the single up tilt. Very surprising, actually. Sitting at a dead even game. They're just still dancing around each other, waiting for the other to make one mistake. And once they make that one mistake, they get a good punish like that. Oh, narrowly missing the up smash, but that actually worked out in his favor because of the witch time. Yeah, he's looking a little greedy right here for sure. Yeah, getting for greedy against smashes. Bayonetta is a dangerous game to play. Because, you know, uh, down B. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you get a little too greedy and she recognizes it, that could be a kill very Right now, early. Tiger just needs to keep playing this game of just patience. Because he if he gets one up air up there, he's he's going to win this this set. He's just one, one kill confirm away to taking this set. And we know Fox has an arsenal of kill confirms that he can use against this character. And that's game. Yep. That's the set. And Kip's going to take it 3-2. Yep. Now that's going to be 3-2 Kip for the tournament. That's that's two losses this tournament that Kip has forced Tiger into. Tiger only lost to Kip this tournament. Wow. Well, Kip's one of the best in the state for a reason. Very, very surprising because Tiger has been showing up lately. Yeah. So but losing to losing this tournament when there wasn't a lot of uh, top-level representation well, the thing about it's Tiger hurt and Kip him. is it's a lot easier to lose to your training partner than someone you don't play a lot against that's oh, below your skill me level. Oh, Hunter, yeah, I know. Right, right. And, like, Kip and Tiger, I don't think, are very far away in skill, and they play each other so much that these matches can go either way depending on the day. So it's it, it's an upset on paper twice, you know, since yeah. Kip beat Tiger twice. But since they f so frequently practice together, it's really not all that surprising at the end of the day to see yeah. A narrow well, win for Kip. I well, mean, we, what we were talking about toss. before he ended up dying was exactly what happened. He was being too aggressive, going too hard for the kill. He and was. going too hard for the kill ended up backfiring on him there, as we saw. Right. Because he went for the back air, which would have killed at where it was at in the stage. But Kip knew he was trying to kill him so hard, he was just like, boop, down B. Right, and the thing about that witch time is, not only is it relatively safe, but if he had missed the witch time and... Connor killed him, he has so much more room for error in a 2-2 a situation when he's on winner's side. Yeah. So he's a lot more comfortable, even if it's it's subtle comfortability, that he just knows that if he messes up, he has another chance. Tiger was getting probably a little tilted, and he was probably a little flustered because if he messed up, he was out. And well, that's he exactly also SD'd, which showed even and more that, flustering. Yeah. And that probably didn't help but add to it. But I mean... The, the set was super close. Really great play from yeah, both great, of these guys. Great stuff to both players. They both. It was it was a, a minor upset, if you could even call it it. Right. That's why I say upset on paper. Yeah. So. Well, great stuff to both players, and that'll wrap up Smash Four singles with Kip being first, uh, Tiger being second, and Z being third. I think Wad was fourth. I, me, and uh, I'm not sure. 
who uh, Mwad beat in losers' quarters. But if y'all are curious to see the results of the tournament and want to see, you know, who plays where, just hit that just exclamation point bracket. <laughs> and if that doesn't work for some reason, I, I don't. Is that a valid command? Yeah. On our, oh, it is. Okay. Well, you can also always look up Alabama Smash League challenge on Google, and all of our tournaments under Alabama Smash League will come up, and you'll be able to look through all the all the past goodies we've got. So next, we I believe we have Melee Singles yeah, coming up on 